Right, just starting to fit this. This skirting should go on first, but it's Sunday today and I don't want to be bringing my chops all down here. So I'm going to fit this frame in first and then fit the skirting up to it. That's easier rather than scribing round. The idea of these cupboards is that they can be taken out later. That's why the skirting's been put on first. This end I'll have to scribe around. So I'll put a little wedge in at the top so that, that gap is parallel. Now I can scribe around there and cut that out so that this goes hard back to the wall. I need to cut this right back, right back to this basically. But only this front edge is going to get seen, so I've cut it with a knife. Just gone around it with a knife. And now I just need to chop a little bit of that out, only 10 mil or so. And then what I do behind don't matter as long as it's behind that.
that now I'm going to lay it down and just chop that out not bad. This needs to come over a little bit. Then that will close up a little bit as this swings around. It's within decorator's cock. So much easier to fit the skirting up to it. I won't have to do all this fanning around, chopping out. But I'll take a little bit out of that corner, swing that out, and that will push back in. What I'm going to do now is put a batten all the way around. I can fix it, tops, in that corner. I'm going to leave that leg loose so that I can push it and pull it to get the doors in twist. Right, pencil line there. Pencil line there. I'm just going to join up the two. A little bit of glue. A little bit of this stuff. Evo stick. A little bit of glue and I'll screw it on. It's plywood behind here so I can get straight it so I can get a screw straight in. And I know that the pipes are well back. Right, I can't really show you. Client was talking to me while I did this. But basically put a bracket on there, there's a bracket on there, there's a screw down there into the wall. And that side I say it was left loose, it's going to be skirting on there and with that I could push that in and out and that made the jaws join, I made them so they're not twisted, I want to slightly out, just needs to be pulled out that, give that a tap I'm going to scribe the top, similar to what I did on the window board there, but because this is a finished edge, I've decided that the top's going to overhang by about that much, that's about 15mm, 18mm maybe, that's what I've done, set my scribers to that distance, and I'll mark that, square it off, it's hanging over a little bit more than it needs to be, but once I've cut that, can do the back. Pencil needs sharpening. Such a lot of That's not bad. What I'll do now is measure between here and this wall, that distance there. I'll mark that on the top, turn this board over so it's leaning that way, and then make another cut. Right, like I say, that distance there to my pencil mark, which is there, is the same as that to there. So I set my scribers to that, 
make a mark for that. cut that off that should drop in then then I can scribe it back that's quite good so what I'll do is that overhang there I'll work out how much it is here that needs to go back it's about that much I'll scribe down there now making sure that that distance is the same as that distance the same as this I've worked out how much it needs to go back I need to put a bit of stain under this front edge but I've set my calipers to that distance which is how much it needs to go back to leave that overhang that's what I'll do now Oops. now is cut that off. I need to make the same mark here. A bit more tape on there. Make the same mark there and cut that little corner out same time as I do that. I need to fix these. But I'll cut that off. do a very slight gap here and there just a millimeter or two it's going to get decorated in I'll do that one tomorrow 